Your life jacket is your most important piece of safety equipment on the water. Even if you're a good swimmer, your life jacket, often referred to as a PFD, gives you that extra margin of safety while boating. When choosing a life jacket, keep in mind that the safest life jacket is the one you like to wear. A life jacket won't do you any good if it's stowed in the boat or left on shore. Any commercially available life jacket should carry the U.S. Coast Guard stamp of approval or approval by an equivalent governing body in your country or region. This shows that the jacket has been tested to ensure it will function properly in the event of a swim. There are many styles and types of life jackets available that meet this standard. For paddling and rafting, look for a jacket that's classified as either Type 3 or Type 5 by the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard's Type 5 designation refers to flotation devices designed for a specific purpose. There are several different types of Type 5 devices, but the most common ones used for paddling are jackets equipped with quick-release rescue harnesses and high flotation jackets with neck pillows such as an outfitter might hand you for a guided trip. Unless you have taken a swift water rescue training course, we don't recommend a Type 5 rescue PFD. The quick release belt and other features will be more of a hindrance than a help. They're also significantly more expensive than other life jackets. A Type 5 high float PFD with a neck pillow provides a high level of safety. They're great for big water and non-swimmers and can work well for many boaters. However, the pillow and extra flotation do make them bulkier to wear than a typical Type 3 vest. For this reason, most paddlers prefer a Type 3 life jacket. Type 3 jackets feature a minimum of 15 and a half pounds of flotation, as mandated by the Coast Guard. If you're a swimmer and comfortable in the water, this level of flotation should be plenty. If you're a non-swimmer, you may feel more comfortable in a higher flotation model, one in the 22 to 27 pound range. However, the additional flotation makes the jacket bulkier and possibly less comfortable. Again, finding a PFD you're comfortable wearing is the most important criteria, but you'll also need to consider what type of paddling you'll be doing most. While most any Type 3 life jacket will work across different paddle sports, many life jackets are tailored specifically for different activities. We often use the terms low, medium, and high profile to describe how a life jacket fits your body. This often determines what activities the jacket is best suited for. High profile jackets have more flotation, usually 22 to 27 pounds. The foam is thick and fully covers the torso. Medium profile jackets have standard type 3 flotation, generally 16 to 18 pounds. The flotation panels are thinner and more flexible than on high profile jackets, but typically have the same conventional look. These are great all around jackets and work well for most paddlers. Low profile jackets also have standard type 3 flotation. However, the flotation is concentrated in smaller areas to provide more mobility for the paddler. The flotation panels are typically thicker and less flexible than on medium profile jackets, but cover less of the torso. Low profile jackets are often worn by whitewater kayakers and other active paddlers, but can also work well for other types of boaters. Once you've found a style of life jacket you like, you should also consider what types of features you need. Many paddlers just need a simple life jacket for safety. For others, features like pockets, a knife flash tab, VHF radio slot, beacon loop, or reflective material can add safety and improve the paddling experience. No matter what type of activity you might be doing, the most important factor to consider when choosing a life jacket is that it fits comfortably for long periods of time. So take the time when choosing a PFD to make sure you're happy with it and that it fits comfortably. If you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call or consult our online resources at nrsweb.com.